Well, the Bruins come out, lose this one 4-1 to in Buffalo. Heading back to Boston for game six. What's wrong with you tonight, dude? Well, I just figured, you know, after such a great effort Wednesday night, I could just come out and lay a stanker on you. I see what you did there. Welcome to Tuka Times Post Game Recap. The Bruins lose this one up in HSBC in Buffalo tonight, 4-1. to one. And you know what? After such a great game Wednesday, how do you come out for a playoff game like this? Talk about hanging me in a locker by my undies and double sack tapping me in the nuts. Go on. 50 minutes later, I'll continue the recap. I had to buy tickets to game six. They went on sale at 10 o'clock. I had a pair pulled up for $60 a piece and seven people would not commit or did not answer their phone. Had to settle for a single, but I don't care because I'm going to game six. Dude, right here. C come on, dude. We share the same bank account. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. Anyways, two minutes in. Adam Mayer, weird wraparound goal here. It goes off to caress inside skate. Kind of five. Well, I don't know. Softy here. Buffalo Sabres, fifth straight game. Five games in a row. They take the lead. One to nothing. And I don't know, but I kind of think the Bruins like playing from behind. That's what she said. <laughs> Whoa, you got all the jokes tonight, huh? Anyways, nine minutes later, Sean Thornton goes for elbowing. And you know what? Get this guy out of the game, Claude Julian. Brad Marchand, please. Five minutes a night for Thornton, and he's not even fighting. Come on, dude. And right after the PK, Beijing gets cross-checked. The Bruins go on their first power play of the night, looking to tie the game up. And guess what happens here? Nothing. And to put a cherry on top for you, just over one minute left, the Bruins cannot get the puck out of their zone. And then the Bruins turn it over, high slot, down to Palmonville. He slings one around Tuke, and the population in Palmonville goes up one because it's 2 nothing Buffalo heading into the first intermission. But now we get the second period, and Jostad goes for a hook only five minutes in here, and the Bruins get another chance to cut this lead in half, and guess what happens Yeah, Nothing! Because the Bruins power play without Max Divide, it sucks, dude. And then we get Mike Greer, and he just puts me into a heaven right off the faceoff. Snaps one by two, Garas. Bergeron loses the faceoff. Buffalo goes up 3 to nothing, the largest lead for any team in this series so far. And things are not looking too good. And when it rains, it pours a third Bruins power play, and absolutely nothing, dude. And now we can move on to the third period, and here's pretty much how I was feeling at that point. Oh, score, score and chance, score, oh. Well, there's another, oh. But under three minutes to go, the Bruins finally capitalize on a power play when the wide ninny passes it over to the boy Chuck, and the boy Chuck one times it home. Glove side, Johnny B. Good, boy Chuck Berry. First ever playoff goal, which is incorrect, Nesson. Bruins lose, 4-1. to one. Dude, you forgot the empty header. So anyways, that wraps it up. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on TukaTime40 on Twitter. HockeyZen.com, Hub Hockey, Towny News, and Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald. Shout out to that Sobo girl and that little wheeler freak who likes that stiff. Anyways, I'm selling my ticket that I talked about earlier for less than face value. So if you're interested in that, it's only 60, 70 bucks. Send me a message trying to unload this one. Thanks, guys. See you Monday night. 325 row 6 send me a message please